So we, we didn't impose a funding cycle uh, per, per se. So if we get enough uh, projects that justify to be funded and the whole amount of money is used this time around, we're going to do it. All right? <coughs> Excuse me. Now, at the same time, I'm not sure if we're going to get to that point. So uh, let's say that we get enough uh, projects to, in, uh, that are worth, that worth it to be funded and we don't use all of the funding, then a second cycle will be, uh, will be open. Um, potentially, we're going to move into calendar year. So yeah, the first cycle will be 2024. The second cycle will be 2025. But at the same time, I don't want to commit and we don't want to commit to say that there will be funding available next year because if we've received this time around enough projects that are worth it and that should be funded, we're going to use the funding. The projects could extend into 2025? Yes, the, pro the project could extend uh, to 2025. Uh, the application and the requirements call for you guys to present a timeline and benchmarks. So you can divide your project uh, in, you know, we're planning on doing X, Y, and C in 2024, then the rest, the, the rest of the elements in next year. Thank you. Cool.